we know the rest of the story with uh, Jennifer and Ambika arriving and, and uh, Ambika and Tommy becoming a couple and Jennifer and I agreeing to be married where she returned after she went and filed her her notice with her employer. Uh, she returned for a, a practice session that they booked a week before the wedding, but when we were in the practice, we said, look, this is costing a lot of money traveling back and forth. Can't you just marry us? I mean, we're not kids here. You know, we're 59 years old and a 55-year-old nurse. So, you know, you don't need to play games. We're getting married, basically, because that ensures her ability to come to Canada. We have agreed to live together for the rest of our lives. We don't really need a piece of paper from the government, but if we didn't go through the piece of paper business, she wouldn't have been allowed in Canada. Not that it mattered much, because from that point on, somebody, and I suspect it's linked to the Valkyries again, made certain that she was... Um, In waiting at the border, they were, in fact, notified she was coming, and she was ambushed. Now, that Valkyrie, Glenn, that Valkyrie, I think, I think I know who that Valkyrie is. And they, you know, they own, or whatever, they have to pay, put that, they own the house, the property, or whatever. They're holding it. There is, um... Um, Valkyries that are males, although not too many, uh, they were like the eunuchs in the harem of old. And their their job, as I said before, is basically to take over the world uh, so that there can be only the one visible gender and then begin a space exploration program. And that's the method defined by the computers that uh, they would fly out of uh, the solar system from the Cap continent, search the Oort cloud for minerals or resources that might be of value, inform the computers of what they had found and uh, a new group of colonials would be orchestrated to go out and help and do the job. Unlike the pilgrims that came to the U.S., however, every brain would be on automatic pilot listening to instructions from head office 24-7 and the head office listening to everything that's being discussed in their presence wherever they may happen to be. And if they needed to increase their numbers, it would be done by artificial insemination means. The body, basically, on the outside would contain the telephone on the inside, if you consider the medulla in the neck to be the listening part and the left breast to be the talking part, it hears everything that's going on in that surrounding. Right breast as a uh, ground positioning device, uh, a, an antenna, linking to a standby ship that that has all of the communications devices in it. They call it a, a pod for one or an iPod. Telephone is TELUS. 
So listening, speaking, communications to a computer, all added to the six parts that are male, female, and Neanderthaler. That leaves open the final piece of the puzzle in the cleavage between the breasts would be a gill allowing them to live equally well in water as they do on land and and in spacecraft, making them what they call trifibian. Tri is a very important word in their world. Yes, yeah, phi. Yeah. P-H-I. Uh, in sororities, it means top ten, like the brainiest. Yes. Yeah. In... Uh, in the physical world, it means fat bottom ladies, because the word is hip. In the military, it's hip, hip, hooray. Yes, sir. And AY is linked to I, who is the genetic engineer of the 18th dynasty. The model of uh, how they they progress in the world is Queen Tai, mm -hmm. the time of the 18th dynasty, is the leash or the rein on which they pull. And every male in Western society is made to wear a tie or a leash, rein, where they can be walked around like a little puppy. So that's the plan for the long term. We are basically at the end of the trial period, and the next uh, period of time, the next thousand years, is the merging of all of this technology, not as mechanical or, or uh, technological instruments, but the conversion is being done into bio materials so that it will be just like any skin and bone you're carrying, mm -hmm. except one part of it will be a telephone. One part will be a gill, one part will be a communications device. And mm -hmm. it will have uh, an exterior iPod keeping track of it all the time that can provide a quick escape, much like the police provide to politicians these days. They drive the getaway car. Keep an eye on the news. Mm -hmm. We're going through a period in time where the leadership of everything is being questioned. And a lot of people are applauding that that's happening to police, it's happening to the military, it's happening to politicians. But there is a plan behind it all. And the plan is not as nice as uh, what people would imagine you're you're getting change, but it's not change for the better in the long run. It's change for even worse than what we have today, if that's possible. <clears throat> now, as far as Jenny is concerned, we've started a campaign of uh, information being sent to the ministers and deputy ministers of the government. The deputy ministers are the actual people who run the department. They are being embarrassed by what one or two deputy ministers are doing and have demanded change. And as a result of that, my uh, I have been informed that my pension 
will be returned to what it was in December, Mm -hmm. and that uh, the only one not cooperating is uh, our equivalent of the IRS, which is called CCRA, Customs and Revenue Canada. So... I don't know where that will go, but we got a call from a lady at the Department of uh, Citizenship and Immigration, Canada, on Thursday, and she said that they are being overwhelmed by people sending messages that they've received faxes from us and that they are the ones who are holding Jenny hostage. They have promised that a um, removal of the people who've been on a, her case has been done, and an investigation begins now, that they will be back to us within a few days. Now, I've heard that kind of bullshit before in my that life. That takes months. Yeah. So I'm not expecting them to live up to their word and mm-hmm. therefore I'm still faxing them every day and and will yeah. embarrass them in any way I can. I've yeah. already told them that they have failed as human beings that there's a recall out. Those people who don't put their act together and run their departments the way the people expected them to run their departments are going to face consequences. That consequence will not be diverted by any of their protection groups like the federal court or the Supreme Court. That They will, in fact, be called to account. I know it's all being prepared. Appropriate jurisdiction? Hey, right? Appropriate jurisdiction, yes. If oh, yeah. Andy wanted to ask you a question. If they start acting properly, there will be a wash, a cleansing. Yeah. yeah. And that will take out a number of uh, people immediately but the worst part is all of the water is all located, whether in uh, South Dakota, along the Missouri River, uh, or in Idaho, or in along the Great Lakes. It's all located to go over a lot of nuclear energy that will oh, wow. release radon gas. And when radon gas is released, a lot more people get cancer. Yeah. When we look at Bhopal, chemical release killed about 8,000 people overnight. Very few afterwards, a lot of deformed people. But if you look at Chernobyl, only a few people were killed on the first night, but a million people died in a year of cancer. Yeah. And in this area, this is not Siberia. In this area, if if uh, people, yes, I heard people die of cancer, there will be many, many, many millions of people. And I suspect before this is over, you're looking at at least two billion people who would die. Mm. Yeah. I have to leave you. Uh, is Andy still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm listening in on everything. It's a lot of information. Uh, 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 he <laughs> when, wanted to ask you a know. question, Glenn, about what was it, the inverted, inverted pyramid? Oh, yeah. Uh, the only thing, I guess... I mean, going back a little bit is uh, is how does the 
inverted pyramid structure work? Because the only thing that I can attach to it right now is the computer below ground. Um, I can't really attach anything else to it. So I kind of like a little bit confused on that front. I'm not sure I know what you're asking. Like he wants well, to know because he says you see he says he said the nuns are at the cap and then you have you, you, yeah you, 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 yeah you basically mentioned that the basically the great nouns are what you suspect is the is the cap so yeah. but that is still the upright cap you're talking about we're not talking about the inverted cap you're um, that you had mentioned before the rest is secret societies. And, and Freemasonry is a large player in that, but much bigger than that is ecclesiastic Freemasonry, the Freemasonry of religion. And it's all based upon a starting point, which is Noah's Ark, and the allegory for genetic engineering. Nobody would believe that you can bring two animals of every kind on a ship. But you can, in fact, take the, the uh, genome of everything that's alive down into the ground to the Moho discontinuity and have it as a lab. And its agencies on the ground have township, the word ship, in their name. Citizen ship, town ship, all have hips in it. Mm. So those are the key phrases that you look for. But who's running the show? I live in Grenville Township. Well, that means that the Premier of Ontario as a governor of a state in the U.S., would have no authority over this place. By adding the word ship, it's saying it's run by the captain. And the captain mm. is in charge. <clears throat> and, and the only one who can give orders to a captain is an admiral. Admire is the basic structure of the word admiral. Hmm. I see. Admire Al. Al is la in French, the feminine principle. Not the feminine, the principle. They're not women. <laughs> so, was, did, did, Andy, you meant like from Hal to who, who's, who's the next hand that receives, say, like an instruction to make it up to the secret society, to make it up to the surface? Oh, like I think from the computer, it, basically. It sounds like uh, it's it's the e, 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 they e, would be e, Neanderthaler. Like, right. They would be Neanderthaler at the level called Chrome, Chromagnon. But the short term is Chrome. And the... Uh, the model for what, how they run things is the chime. If you look at a chime, it has some device hanging out at the bottom that is affected by the wind. It leads up to a point in the middle that becomes kind of a knocker, and it's surrounded <coughs> by eight chrome pipes of different lengths. Each one right. is like uh, an organization responsible for a task. They all uh, come together at a cap. That cap is like the Vatican. And then there are strings to attach it to something else that's higher. And that's usually a beam that you tie it on if you're putting it on a building. That beam is, is something like the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and the, the platform that's above it is the leadership groups that run the world. So it's kind of an upside-down construction. 
you're viewing it from the wrong perspective. It can all mm-hmm. be turned around. But the notes that it produces are what Danny and I have been looking at with Jerd uh, on the uh, the notes played in Close Encounter of a Third Kind. The chime I have is called the Gregorian chant. Mm, yeah. So within Gregorian chants would exist these eight notes. It was a philosopher. His name was Jacob Bomey. Yeah. Talked about the sound coming back. I must go because my dinner <laughs> has been on the table for ten minutes now. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll talk well, to you again. Make an appointment. Okay, I will. Yeah. All right, Glenn. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Glenn. Hello. Yeah. There you guys are. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess I was looking at it from the wrong perspective, like he said. Um, but I mean, I didn't quite exactly to get what he said completely. Like the charm. <laughs> To be honest with you, so yeah, I'm gonna have to look at it at least in writing. So. Oh, I hear something. So you guys, uh, you guys need to take take off now, right? Um, yeah, I guess if you guys want to get off, I was thinking I might have the other one, the other one, at seven at seven o'clock, seven o'clock my time. I don't know if anybody else wants. The group conference call. The other conference yeah. call. I mean, we're still in the conference call itself. Right? Yeah, but this is a, this, this one's different. The different. Oh, this, oh, this one's not yeah. publicized. No, no. no uh, yeah, it, it is, but like not anybody can just come in on it. Like, it's invite right only. <laughs> oh, okay. D- different, fine, different, fine. uh, different format, I guess. Yeah, it's different. For people, the things that are talked about are different. The people who are in the conversation are kind of they know what's going on already. Process, yeah. So, mm-hmm. Well, well, you heard what he said earlier, like how everything's being moved, shift, converted from mechanical, electronical to biological, which I know, yeah. which I know they already done it. I mean, I think. I want to say I've seen the actual physical, biological inner workings of, but I've seen how it worked. So uh, to me, if it's inside the body, chance of being an electrical or mechanical device, to me, is very less slim unless it's biological. Yeah, he was saying that in another talk with like you know? certain universities so, specialized. So in a way, so yeah, so you know, I don't, I don't know if he's personally seen it or not, but you know. His research seems to be matched with what I have seen. What well, it is is just that it's a following a trail. You see this word, and then you yeah. see it'll take you to yeah. this, and that will mm-hmm. tell you everything. It's like it's a mm-hmm. form of overstanding and then verse standing. That's what it is. So, and an aspect that he says uh, there's some kind of uh, him connecting with the dark matters or dark energies through mental, <coughs> uh, what, what do you call it, telepathy, or how do you say telepathy? Uh, I wouldn't even say telepathy because telepathy, telepathy is mind to mind. Well, it's anything mind that mind, yeah, but. it's anything that comes to your mind that that doesn't really can you don't know where it came from or something. But uh, yeah. you know you don't really see, be, you don't see, you don't see the other opposite side that's kind of communicating with you. So it's kind of like right. a, so it's kind of like an inner voice coming to him, telling him all this stuff. Which uh, I, I, I don't know. Inner voice is like we all have inner voice, but he says mm-hmm. it's a process that he kind of goes through, and uh-huh. I think it's different. It might be different because I, mean, I go through my own process, but like I but can't the, really relate but, that to you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like that in a way, but but you know, it's not. How can I say? It, it just feels like it's some, something that something is feeding you directly. It's not like you, you have to think through all this stuff and then oh, the answer comes to your head. Not like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know you're saying. Uh, yeah, so it's, I don't. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's something I'm not really. Uh, 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 I, you know, I have an idea, 
but like something that for me to understand more, I actually have to go there and talk to him. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go through some stuff as well. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I'll definitely prepare something maybe next week, if not two, two weeks from now. Did everything, anything you're gonna do, Andy? Uh, here's a good piece of advice: if you're gonna do something major, a movement. Don't say anything. Don't even tell me, man. Don't say it over the phone. Don't tell anybody over the internet, because uh, we've, we've seen from first-hand experience that well, the fact that anything that's said is, is hindered. No, no, no. Uh, anything well, that's, that comes into your mind is already being stolen. That's that's where we are. I'm telling you right now. I'm not sure. No, no, yeah. like, if I notice if I don't say it to anybody. Yeah, I know. Then nobody will know. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to you a little bit. Yeah, um I, I hear what Andy's saying though. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah, it's 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 your thought process being completely overtaken already. For certain specific I know I I know I am. Glenn's definitely part of it too. I don't I doubt I I mean it's not gonna leave him out. <laughs> you know, there's no there's no there's no enough that I or him think But yeah, he has him. more direct uh contact with people who are helping him. But that's if, kinda like illusional That's because of the property he's on, I think. <laughs> well that to me is a little bit strange because I mean that's like saying there's something beyond the control structures that's on this planet. Do I have to uh, say that, that 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 this control structure on this planet can't control. No, so, no, no. it's not even it's it's people are in the system, right? I mean You mean there's a uh, actual there's, there's, opposing there's, opposition. There's, there's people in the system like who will find out, you know, that you know their role, <laughs> they, they're going to be exposed. Or, uh, that's only natural, I think. To, so basically, to these oppositions are so rude, or you could say these people gone rude has uh, yeah. uh, are hel- helping them sit in. A perfect out. example is that they show a show called, you know what. Even the Matrix was even a good example of that. Or even they're all, they're part of the See, system. There's no the Matrix doubt. is a mirror. The Matrix it, is a mirror it's a of, part of, of, the of them operate against the masses. Yeah, but look, it's it's they they show faction, they show programs part of the system. But they're the ones who who seem to go against the whole system. The problem, like, where, like Glenn or or or, the, or anyone that's speaking out, is that is like they don't, you know they don't want those people to know that they're going to die too, you know. So they have to prevent and and cause all these obstacles so that you don't get that message out to them because they don't want them knowing that they're going to kill all of them, too, all their workers because they still need it to happen. <laughs> so if you're if you're sitting around informing everyone that they're going to die too, then you know th- then it's going to stop the plan. So they obviously don't want that. Hence yeah. all this, this stuff to distract and to get, you know, cause all this, you know, delay. Yeah, like, and all stuff like me, like, I'm making videos to try to, like, open somebody's mind in a, in a visual way. You know, you need a lot more than just the visual, but. Yeah, with okay. that. And, and, and you gotta see, like, the shit that I had to go, I, I went through, man. I don't even have a I computer believe anymore. Yeah. I don't even have a computer anymore, man. It's just, it sucks, man. Like, but I don't want to get me down because, you know, I'm not I'm not like Glenn Kelly. I'm not like uh, from another generation who's not really familiar with the computers and stuff. So I, I, there's other ways to get out there, you know, like this right here, you know, talking. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 I have a lot of ideas in my mind, things I can do. There's so many things we can do, man. Just use our brains and just use these materials, you know, to yeah. um, to benefit us. To benefit us. Mm-hmm. And we're not. We're, 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 the only thing is, we're not gonna get massive amounts of followers of people who whatever. Like, cause these guys have uh, every other thing, every other conspiracy, every. You know. They seem to all have like. The ones that have thousands of people, you know. Oh yeah. It, yeah it seems to be only a certain frame of thought, really. Those oh, people yeah. just di- divert. That's all. Yeah. 
You know, it, yeah. it, it's just this material. Just this stuff is just way too far for most people. I mean, just they 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 don't they don't have the time. They don't have the will to do the work. Yeah. You know, a lot of people tell me about Glenn. They're like, I can't listen to him. I'm, I I fall asleep. I'm just bored. Like, yeah, yeah. Obviously, they they, they want to get entertained, man. It's like it's, what well, is one it? part is that they don't have to. First of all, they don't have the experience, personal experience that to verify. And then even if he yeah. says something right, you know, they they just don't want to go take go over their head. I guess. So, um, well, not, they just don't think they, they, most people have like five minute attention span. They don't. They don't want to listen to anybody for more than that to get a general idea. They just want to ask, so, so who, who are these people you're talking about? Who are they? If I'm mentioning. I they mean, want it all in like a documentary. They, 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 they want they want everything presented to them like in you know, an infomercial style type of <laughs> presentation, you know, to present, mm-hmm. present them. That's why uh, I want to work minutes. on a project with five them, minutes. to do a documentary. But that documentary wouldn't give them the whole picture. It would just be like, it would get them to be like, well, you know, happen, you know. Yeah. To that then again, well, then again, those are part of the wrong people to advertise to anyway. Yeah, no, but like, so, so, yeah. you'll catch people who will, you know, who will um, respond, you know. Like, uh, you know, yeah. I'm not looking for everybody, but you will, like, just, just from doing what I do, I've been doing. Found a few people, people, but like all these people, I'm starting to see. Like I, I understand. I, I, I think I accept that now. That, um, everybody that I find, that who even anybody who even responds, um, it's gonna, it's, it's like you have to work with them at least for a year for them to actually get it. To actually, I called you the like that. That's uh, what I went through. I, I had to. It took me a year to actually kind of get the gist of things. Yeah, I mean, in the I mean, beginning phase. I mean, like I was no looking at no. it. Mm-hmm. But, like, these people who uh, who are looking at it, they're not really involved because they they feel like they don't know much about it. So they just kind of sit and watch. I personally don't think us knowing Glenn and us knowing each other is a coincidence. Anyway, so I think somehow something connected us, and you know that we still don't really know why. But, mm. I mean, yeah, I, I'm looking at my life, right? Yeah, and how I know Glenn, and it's uh, too many synchronicities, man. Too many. Yeah. Things like I like about the people who raised me, and the people who. I was around as a little kid, and it was not by accident, man. Like it, I think that's what they talk about in Mahayana Buddhism. They talk because in the Mahayana Buddhism, at the center of everything is like this uh, supreme being who's in a he's in a it's an eternal state of yoga and meditation, mm-hmm. um, and through through a thought or a will, it can cause illusions within itself. So what they're saying is like this computer is a brain, right? And the reality that we all believe in here is like a neuron in its brain. It's just like well, have you thought about cause that? an illusion just from like it's just because this computer is in fourth dimension, but it can think fifth dimension. It can like think. It could like it understands time. Way better than human beings can. Gotcha. So it can like cause events, foresee things, and like have it all working synchronistically, the type of thing. Like, I got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah, I think you're totally right on that. And there's no way that they can set all this up in such a complex system and make everything work. A, a computer, correctly. only yeah. a computer could run us all like this. Man. Have How you ever all... thought that? Have you ever thought that our brains are part of this computer too? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Where are, the, where are the individual knots that's out Our there? Our is the, the, that, the, the that right is, connection. Right, right. Our and medulas. they can tap, that the system can tap into. They can tap into your uh, experiences. It's actually, it's like you have a dirty pervert in your mind watching everything you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly. The same. They use that allegory in a movie called The Lovely Bones. 
Uh, or, or, or even um, uh, Alfred C. Clark made a story about that. It's about the, the parasite. It was just a guy in his mind watching all his experiences. Just get just just, just sitting there and, and just waiting. Rewatching. Re, well, yeah, rewatching them and you know, almost laughing at you in a way. And that's in the end. So that's why I asked Glenn. It says you know. Um, about you know you know Neanderthals visiting people, like I don't mean like like some like okay crazy uh, alien. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. yeah crazy alien. Well, I I, I think their their mindset, this this scientists are like, um, they're they're the type of they're the type of people who are born and they have a child or they they do a certain task. They have their offspring will continue that same task. So, like, then I could just give up scientific research. I don't think they just give that up. Man. That's part of who they are. It's just, it's, you know, so they have I'm a computer. Surprised. Yes, they have a computer running things, but I know that you know, they must. To me, uh, to me, I'm just surprised that they didn't use the knowledge that they created it to improve themselves. They did, but they well, they, 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 they gathered up the knowledge. They went too far ahead, though. System, yeah, they, they gathered they up the knowledge, for, put into mm-hmm. a central system, but they never managed to. What do you mean improve themselves? themselves and how? What? what? Uh, genetically, you know, enhance themselves. You know, they, 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 that's that's the problem. See, like they did all that. They tried doing. All that. What what they they figured out that by going too far ahead that they destroyed themselves. They went too so, far. So somehow ahead. there's but a somehow that's why they the don't process. exist as a race anymore. They um, um they, they don't even have mouths anymore, man. That's well, I don't know if they don't exist them. as a race. Like, even but, Glenn but, was just saying that me, they go. Uh-huh. Huh? To me, that kind of to me, that kind of, that shows some kind of uh that they they didn't plan things down the road very well. To me, that that seems really strange because. They seem to be so far ahead of everyone else, but they can't or seeing the problem that these experiences will destroy themselves without any they kind of see it. You know, they actually, you know, actually, no you know what? they could, they they actually did see their own death. That's like one of the curses they have. Like they, they could see when they were going to die. You know, they actually put that in allegory so they could see um, when they would die. So, so basically, now they're they're probably what are you gone. saying, Dana? Dana, you. I like, would, I wouldn't say that they don't exist anymore. Like I, 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 mean, I know they exist. Exist. Well, the DNA is still part of us, right? I'm talking about I, as still as their own beings. I, I wouldn't say they don't. They're just not there anymore, and they just live in a medulla somewhere. I would think that they're still there. Yeah, I, I, I do think they're still there, but they're not really like. Like uh, like a force, like they were in 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 thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. I mean, what what you're saying is that they don't have their own um, DNA locked up somewhere that they can reclone themselves. No, they can't even clone. Like, the, you know, I watched um, so many like allegories and read stuff about these guys. Like, um, there's a there's a series called. Um, Star Trek, uh, no, Stargate. I watched the. Whole, you can download it. It's like Stargate, uh, yeah, eighty think. gigabytes, I think. Oh no, maybe less. You mean the Stargate it, series TV? Yeah, series? you can. Yeah, watch that series, man. I tell you everything about how they do release religion, and and it'll show, it'll show you the Neanderthal. The they'll show you, like, and in, in one episode, I remember they were like. They would try to reclone themselves and reclone themselves, but they couldn't do it anymore. And so they, would, the race limitation was dying. To cloning that we don't know, huh? But there's a limitation to cloning that we don't know. Yeah, that's that was, that was in the thing, and 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 what they did was just kill themselves, committed suicide. So cloning. So that that allegory of them committing suicide is something that's recurring. I'm finding it all. So there suicide. is a limitation to cloning in that case. Uh, no, we don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It sounds like, yeah, it sounds like there could be some kind of 
degenerative force after after each cloning happens. It may be some limitation to it. Yeah, maybe that's what part. Uh, maybe nothing that. Forever. Oh, you know what? You know what's interesting? That's a good point because maybe that's what's part of like because you know how they 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 don't even have mouths. They don't even eat like you know like like they used to. Maybe they lost the power to reproduce on their own too, and they're using science to keep them alive, to try to keep them alive, and it's and it's they're failing. Mm-hmm. It's very few of them, maybe. and and we are the, like their hope. They say we are their hope. We are their like uh, their link. We are their hope to be used as a host for them to, to continue to live on. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Because this thing would be like a straight robot, these new... It would be a complete robot, so the mind is going to be Neanderthal. <laughs> the, the mind is going to be Neanderthal. So Neanderthal is going to be the the G-host in those bodies. But if the mind is going to be Neanderthal, then why are they putting themselves in the medulla? Why don't you just put them... Well, actually, that's, that's, put, that's what Glenn mentioned months ago, that that's what the computer decided to do. That um, it basically now, looked at everybody was equal to to the to um, maybe that was all, the the slave was equal to the Neanderthal human being level, all equal. So they weren't in charge anymore. That's what it was saying. Computers. Okay, so in if this is a control free type programming, then obviously it's their function. programming. That's them. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. That's them. But according to the right now, the computer represents. Basically, the it's more of a res- representation of them um, that, that are in control, which means they don't want any kind of op- opposing opposition to grow, to oppose them in any way. No, it, it just so, because they saw like they, they weren't fit to even be in charge anymore. That's what it was. It just said, okay, these people aren't fit to be in charge anymore. So they don't vote. Well, the fact is, their usefulness is up. There's no purpose for them to exist because I can do everything yeah, that you can do. That's what happens pursue. when you when you when you advance like that at that level mm-hmm. beyond like they 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 they're not doing it at the proper timing. They're altering themselves. That's what happens yeah. when you alter human when you alter something like like that a, a, a race of people on a massive scale. You're gonna have backlashes like look at humanity. <laughs> well, I mean, they were they were yeah. clan mothers, and creation would have picked the perfect time. To, right, to, right. Which means they screwed up the timeline. Yeah, they basically put everything yeah. into a time warp and yep. fasted forward, and mm-hmm. that kind of screwed up the timeline. And now, I guess perhaps that's why one of the reasons why they're they're everything has to be redone because otherwise creation might step in and destroy this planet altogether. They don't do that. Well, you know, Glenn was telling me too. He didn't mention it, but he said the whole point, you know, with the dark energy. He said it, it's it's past the point of transition. Like, there's no way. The only thing that you can do now is to see if creation can let you know this planet survive for another five thousand years. Yeah. But other than that, it's it's past the point of transition. No uh, going back. Well, seeing the fact that how many opposition there really are that wants to change for the better. Um, how did this but their better is the end of those better. Just everybody. Right. right. That's the, what I'm the, saying here. The, it's like the, the lens is it's like the, they need, a, they need a, um, a clear sight. Like their sight it's all an illusion on, on one level. It's like higher levels of illusion for everybody. Yeah. They got the basic illusions for the masses, which is kind of it's pretty it's pretty complex. Then you got higher levels of people who have truth, but yet they still have illusion. Right. Still it's, an illusion. The illusion's very well crafted to keep everybody confused. I mean, the way I'm building up, how I'm seeing is everyone, no matter how well I track each one of these individuals down, there's always something that they do that just doesn't add up to what they're doing and to the, to the complete puzzle that I'm trying to put together. There's always something wrong. No matter how, mm-hmm. no matter where I, which role I take, um, it just, 
each one of these sources, each one of these individuals, each one of these groups, something just doesn't add up. So that's I find it's like this three three oh, three things. Uh -huh. Either transubstantiation, instant gratification, <laughs> or you just want to be self serving. Oh, that's the two same thing, instant gratification. And that's so like I said, that's probably the only common denominator I'm seeing. Yeah. Which means that there really is no opposition. <laughs> So we us and that's why them. <laughs> that's why uh, that's why I feel kind of strange how like Gwen like somebody helping him in a way uh, actually would uh, uh, prevent problems for him to there's something's got to be there's got to be some 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 higher up I don't know maybe maybe they're Maybe maybe they're trying to change something. I don't know. Maybe they're really trying to change something for better. I don't know. At the higher level, perhaps, maybe. Yeah. Here, go ahead and eat with it if you want to. And why? And then another question is, why would they want to remake Glenn again? Why would they want to remake Glenn? Yeah. What's the point of creating him in the first place? To create trouble? He was a people? scout. Huh? He was a scout. He had a job to do. But he, he was, woke up, man. He, he he broke out of his programming. But, I mean, that program is really insane. But then again, they can it's get him. Well, it's they a, realize that fact. They can, you know, immediately find remedies to that problem. I mean, I don't know why they're I still don't understand why they're keeping going alive. Remember me to what problem? What's the problem? Well, I just don't understand why they're still keeping him alive at this point. If they kill him, the you, critical you cause a right problem now. like that. When you when you do something like that, you cause too many people who start asking questions and you make it something that you want to kind of just swept under the rug and forgotten about. You make it worse. Well, unless there's a opposing operation forming at the higher level. And I really don't see how this could happen in that case. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, this, no, really, man. I mean, they, if they really want to get rid of him, they can get rid of him easily. I mean, I, there's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, they can get rid of him. Yeah, they can get rid of anybody. Because <laughs> no, everybody more can like clone. Everybody can. They can get rid of anybody, but there's repercussions to things, man. Every action is an equal and opposite reaction, man. That's they know, they, they do the same thing. They kill people, right, who are on their side, but they make well, they those people get... martyrs, man, and people start worshiping them even more because well, they that's died. Why, and that's why they don't... There's a guy the called Rick Clay, I heard. The guy was killed. I know. Right? By know somebody. And, said, and I'm looking at what he's talking about. I really, really find any, like, some of the things he said maybe were, but, like, for the most part, like, what was he really saying? He wasn't really saying much to you know, in my opinion. Right. They just they kill their own people, you know. He might be just a scapegoat for to to yeah. farm on certain things. You know, they they sacrifice. It's a sacrifice, basically. And plus, you gotta look at Glenn's history, right? The guy did all that thing of Parliament Hill. You 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 can't just kill a guy like that. It's got to be, like, like a whole ritual or something. But the fact that... He's making they do said they, but the they, they want to kill him. Is it, he's he's actually thing, expecting he, was, he was an initiate. Who? He was in some kind of order. He was in some kind of... He's not an initiate. He never was. He's an initiate to, like, a Riki or something like that. Order or something. Oh. It's something... Something that's more on the new age stuff, I think. Riki? Reiki or something. R E K I. Reiki. 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 Hey, what about Reiki? Yeah, Reiki. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's 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 Reiki is all about, but kind of like it's like spiritual it's healing. healing. Yeah, something to do with healing. Yeah, it's like a method of healing. That yeah, well, right. new age related yeah. to anything else. What I'm saying. But you know, but that's still initiate. Still initiate. You know, nope. anything that initiate, anything that initiate, you know that that means it's an order or some kind of organization. 
Wait, you're saying Glenn was initiated in Reiki? No, no, no. no. I'm saying uh, Clay. What's his name? Clay. Rick Clay. Clay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's all part that's like he's new age. Like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's part of new age, right? So. And so I'm looking at him like, what's he really like? You know, they 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 made a whole what? They made a martyr out of this guy. Yeah. This is somebody exactly. else. Just like just like Bill Cooper, man. Bill Cooper yeah. said some things, yeah, but he was still part of them. Yeah. He was still there. He works for the Navy. Yeah. <laughs> His name is Cooper, man. Yeah, Cooper too. Yeah, yeah, I know. A lot of these guys, man. You know, a lot they, of these... they just they just want him. I think he was becoming a He's boss like, because he, they wanted what? they wanted Alex Jones to be the the lead on this front. So they can't have not him just around. that. Maybe that too, but. Um, mm-hmm. It, 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 if you see, like, when you're making a movement, you got to have martyrs and people who... It's like religious. It's like Christianity. They have people who died and were killed. And, and Jesus. Killed like. for, Je- for Jesus, you know. It, it makes that movement so much stronger. So that's what they're doing. Like, it makes it seem much more real. Well, like let me ask you this. They have these leaders. You know how the magic trick works? You know how the good magic trick works? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Through sacrifice. Very good sacrifice. Watch mm-hmm. the movie called Prestige. Have you seen that? I think I've seen that. Seen it? I think so. I think so. Starting uh, with uh, the guy in the new Batman series. Uh, what was his name? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He, he, American he, he, Psycho. He, American Psycho. Psycho? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What's, what's his name? You know, it's a good movie. We're talking about magic illusions and sacrifice. It's the, the Illusionist with Edward Norton. Ed Norton. Christian Bale. Uh, yeah, yeah, Christian Bale. That's him. Yeah, that's him. The Illusionist. Remember how the girl died in the movie? She sacrificed. The illusionist. Herself. Yeah. I mean, that and that was a whole allegory. The whole movie. He's Illusionist to create a sacrifice that was seen by the people. It's not a sacrifice, but. The sacrificial part is on the magician side. Then the sacrifice creates illusion, and then and then at the end, the, the main part to the trick is to make the 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 viewer or the audience to to believe. The viewer here is to believe, believe back. Then the trick is success. Is it considered a success that they have done? That created the best illusion. Basically, the audience has to bleed back at the end. No trick, and no good trick comes without a pro. I guess that's what they're saying. Oh, the biggest trick is sacrificing the whole population. So that's well, that's the, the plan. That's the. <laughs> that's part I don't of the think that's a trick. Well, yeah, I mean. They're trying to trick nature. It's the same allegory as uh, the Watchmen. The guy said we have to trick, trick. He had to trick the whole world by killing the whole world. You watch that. That's a really good movie. If I want to watch that again, one of these days. That movie was really good, man. Um, the guy. It was like the smartest guy. It was, these are all archetypes, all like aspects of familiar things you see in the system. But like the guy. The guy like fooled in his mind. He was fooling the whole world, into killing himself, into into. Um, I say killing himself. He killed. He killed off and sacrificed a guy basically for the betterment of everybody in his mind. It was, um, it was really interesting. Well, this <laughs> Jesus allegory is the ultimate symbol for that. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna go get yeah. something to eat. If you want, you guys, yeah. you guys want to have another one, um, uh, a different one, a group one, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like. Uh, well, Brian, yeah, I mean, uh, we can have another one if we can get more people next time. Just, you uh, I also just plan ahead, plan ahead, and you know, this way, you know, let you know at least a week prior to the conference, you know, that yeah, the group we're gonna, one, we're gonna meet up, saying, yeah. Um, He's talking about the other one.
I'll say at least you want to have a minimal of, of one week notice. Otherwise, you know, sometimes some people just can't make it if you do all of a sudden. Um, well, what I do is every Saturday I have one. So people kind of pick up, like, okay, it's Saturday, look out for us. So right. that's what I do. I don't put a set time because that, that type of stuff, I don't like doing that. Cause you want to see who's going to be around because you, you sign to see if you want to do another one tonight, right? That's what you're saying? Yeah. I can I post it on Facebook. It. Everybody should post that link on Facebook. What is it? So everybody can see. Like, you post it, I post it, you no, know, Andy post it. Everybody post it on their Facebook page so you'll have people yeah. who join in. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I do want to get another person. Yeah, but you have to post it on your yeah. Facebook page. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite. Actually, I met a few so people that like, I really want to. You have like 2,000 people on your page, man. Somebody yeah. gonna go. I'm gonna yeah, I wanna get a few people that I know that are in the system. I want him I want these people to join in to see what they have what they can say. Um So are you trying to do it tonight? No, yeah, not, I'm at like seven o'clock, seven maybe seven thirty, something like that. I'll yeah, post well, it up. I mean we can't call Glenn again. I I want Glenn no, to No, I'm on. not that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's just a group where people talk. It's oh. about Glenn. It's not, it's not. Oh, without Glenn? Well, I kind of want to get Glenn involved, too. Cause, Why would I mean, Glenn I would want to talk to these people? Because Glenn doesn't have time for that. He doesn't have time to talk to well, these type of people. No, no, no. Well, he doesn't have to necessarily talk about it because I do, because some points are really important that that kind of... That's what you're for, then. When we huh? talk in this thing, you bring up those points because Glenn doesn't... Huh? The reason why he did those talks he did this talk. It's to kind of, trying to, in a way, because he knows I'll like, we'll put, we'll put it out there. Right, right, right. We'll put it, we'll okay. put it out there. Okay. And that's why he, mean, he, he talks different. He doesn't talk like that when it's on a one on one yeah. conversation. Yeah. He put everything out there in a way, in a format. You know, like, as an I guess I don't want to start a debate or anything over the phone. No, he's not doing yeah. it. He's not, he doesn't have time for that. Right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I guess that's not a good idea then, in that case. I mean, okay. I mean, I was, I was still to, you know, invite those people. Then we can just do like a, do yeah, a, like, like a group conference yeah, on. Just, what I do is I just put on my page, and whoever comes, come. I didn't get a like, Skypey set up because I don't know. I don't, I don't want to keep using the cell phone next to my head, and it's gonna the phone bill is probably gonna be pretty high. I don't know how you guys deal with the phone bill, but I only got like a thousand minutes a month. You don't have unlimited nights and weekends? All right. That's, that's uh, I don't think so. Let's get it off here. Yeah. Let me get it off here. Yeah. All right. Let me get it. All right. Talk to you later. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah. Later.